Jack Paradise takes a road trip to find his first love in 29 Reasons to Run. He tricks his best friend into believing that going with him could be the story he's been searching to write about. Take a look at this San Diego Film Festival selection. Let's just get out of here and get some gas. That was ugly, Pete. Oh, I can't believe it. I told you, man, you can't talk to girls like that. You completely freaked her out. No, I lost my wallet. You what? Oh, you know what? I probably left it in the apartment. And I always do that. Well, what are you going to do, man? How much money do you have? Uh, I got it. It's $16. We're driving across country and all you bring is sixteen dollars. Well, I was gonna borrow some money from Jazzy, but since you jumped on board, I thought I'd, you know, just borrow from you. And let me welcome my guest this morning, Gary Weeks, the writer and one of the actors for um, 29 Reasons to Run. Welcome to Fox in the Morning. Thanks for having me. Well, we're excited to have you here because we're excited that the film festival is back again. Um, let's talk a little bit about 29 Reasons to Run. How did it come about for you? Um, actually, it, it, I just wanted to write a good comedy with a lot of these great actors. And uh, Damon Osteen, the director, is a good friend of mine. And we wanted to shoot it in, uh, you know, cross country in some of our hometowns. To be able to shoot in California, we shot in Georgia, where I'm from, in Texas, where the director and Brandon, one of the other actors, is from. Just kind of uh, came together from there as a really? project, a passion project. Now, did I hear correctly when you were talking to Anita a little while ago that it took 14 rewrites to get? Yeah, this? it took 14 rewrites because it's amazing because the first, you know, the first version of the script is all over the place. It was like a bunch of skits. It was kind of you know, Dumb and Dumberish compared to what it ended up at the time now. <laughs> and I love Dumb and Dumber, so they, they, I mean, yeah, that's yeah. like, you know. So it, what does it take? Just Was it you just rewriting and rewriting, or did you hand it to people and say, what do you think, and how, did, how does that go? Yeah, it kind of works. I mean, I have a lot of uh, friends of mine. Damon, the director, is also a writer. Um, and then I had some other friends of mine that are writers, and they take a look at it. And, you know, you kind of take little pieces of what they say, what you might agree with, and kind of change from there. And it's always great to get input from other people. And okay. then you can, you know, and then you can be like, oh, yeah, that might be kind of nice. And it would spark ideas, and you'd be able to make so something new. So in terms of time, how long, how long are we talking here for, from the time you got the idea to the time this thing was ready to go? Oh, it's been, well, actually, we did the, the, the first, actually, the first script that I wrote was about seven days. Because I'm, I'm a straight through writer. Yeah, I just sit down and time to fool around. boxers and coffee it and it's done. straight done. Yeah, okay. But then actually it took about six months until we got to the point where we were really ready to shoot and then we did pre-production and then the oh. shoot itself was 30 days. Okay. So. Now what about, you know, obviously the, we're excited about the film festival here, but have, is, is this something that you've done before, go, taking your films to, fil to film festivals and that sort of thing? And how does it work for you? Well, it's, this, it actually is. We've been with this film, some different film festivals that it goes. San Diego's kind of a special one to me. Because uh, I had a little connection as far as with getting a lot of work here in San Diego as an actor. Oh, good. And some of my first things that I started out with were here in San Diego. So like to me, what? it's a like big what? thing. <laughs> Tell. Well, when I started off Silk here. Silk stockings? <laughs> <laughs> I was a little late, but close. <laughs> okay. I started, I think, the, the, my first big TV role was on The Chronicle, which was shot at Stu Siegel. And uh -huh. uh, my first big movie role was on Tiger Cruise, which was Stu Siegel. Oh, and, you know, I just like kind of moved up from there. It's just yeah. San Diego, and I love coming down here. It's just a great vibe of people. And, and even from last night on the opening, night everyone just is really likes film and you know just has a good time well it seems like uh, you film writer types or have a good time every oh, time yeah. everybody that comes through here has just got a great personality and it's ready <laughs> to go and sure I'll get up early why not yeah, yeah, it's all <laughs> for the fun. It's fun. now did I hear you say um, that you are from Georgia I am originally from Georgia so now you live in uh, LA mm -hmm. and I have to say I don't hear the twang <laughs> <laughs> all I gotta do is get on the phone with some of my friends for 20 minutes and it's right, yeah, back, right back when you're yeah. mad kind of thing yeah exactly when, yeah when you're excited, Late it comes night, out. Anything, yeah, anytime <laughs> yeah. like that, it's fine. Yeah, all right. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta be feeling some emotions for it to come yeah, out. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Reminds Is all your family still back there? A lot of them, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. all, my, my parents are still there. My, uh, my brother lives in Nashville, which is close, and so, you know, we go down there a good bit. Very good. All right, so when will we see your film um, at the film festival? Uh, we screen Friday, 3.45 p.m., mm -hmm. and Saturday night at 9.30 p.m. All right, we're going to put this information on our website at fox6.com. We don't expect you to memorize it, but you can uh, take a look there and see if it works for you. The film festival is running all weekend, so you have plenty of opportunity to see this film and other films, really great films. And this year, it's not just films and documentaries, but apparently music videos as well, so it's going to be a great film festival. Gary, thanks for coming out. Thank you so much. Appreciate for it. I know. I, go back to sleep. Do you want to go back to sleep? <laughs> I'm going right now. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. Thanks for coming in this morning. Thank you.